All right, what's going on, everybody? It's me, in Box Ring Blood, back for another wonderful segment of story time. So um, I've only done this one other time, and it was the story about the first time I ever vaped in front of my parents, or the first time my parents found out that I vaped. Um, but today, in honor of the holidays, I'll be telling you another story. So if you guys don't already know, today is 420. Uh, happy 420 to all you guys. Happy holidays. Um, so I thought it would be a fun idea to go ahead and tell you guys a story of why I do not smoke weed anymore. Um, it's a it's a uh, a very interesting story that um, a couple people know about, but freaks them out every time they hear it. So I thought it'd be fun to tell you guys the full story. Um, and what the oh hold on. While doing this, I'll be going ahead and making sure that I'm still vaping, keeping this, keeping true to this channel. I will be smoking uh, on the uh, Cloud Beast King, be vaping on the Cloud Beast King uh, with the HPRIV 221 box by Smoke, hitting at 130. Um, so hitting at 130 watts, uh, vaping on Squeezy's blended flavor. If you haven't seen my review for that, go ahead and check out the review. Um, so let's get into it. So, um, this goes back to my freshman year of college. Um, so, up until my freshman year of college, I had never smoked weed in my life. Um, just seemed like something I should stay clear of, uh, stay away from. Um, but, of course, in college, you're going to find a lot of people that smoke weed. And... Um, it's not that they're going to tempt you, but it's going to just seem like all my friends do. Maybe I should, something I should give a try, which you should never do. Like that's what your parents and your teachers always tell you not to do. Don't give in to peer pressure. I wasn't pressured. Um, I just saw a lot of people doing it and they seemed fine. So I thought I would give it a try. So I tried it. So the first time I smoked, uh, I never really got anything out of it. So that's worth skipping. Like... We shared, uh, we rolled a blunt and it was like this thin and this long and I got like nothing out of it. Didn't feel anything. Um, second time I smoked, we had some joints, um, passed around the joints a little bit. That was the first time I really felt high. Um, so I got like heavy legs, cotton mouth. Um, everything just felt weird. Not like bad weird, but it was unusual to me. I, the whole time I had to say to myself, relax, you're not dying, you're just high, it'll go away. Try to have fun. So listen to some music, just relaxed. Um, nothing too special, but, you know, I wasn't hurt, so I'm like, okay, maybe I can try this more often, maybe I'll start feeling better. Um, so... I started smoking more often. Um, I think on average, I smoked not even once a week. Um, it was still an every now and then thing. Uh, I didn't always have weed on me, but I did end up spending a lot more on weed than I thought I was going to. Like, uh, I would always want to split with friends because it's not something that I would want to do alone. So I never smoked alone. I always smoked with friends. Uh, just to be safe and have a good time, try to have a better time. So uh, I would always like go in on like eighths with some friends and I would end up paying like half of it, which around me, like an eighth would cost you like 50 bucks, 50 or 60. Um, so I'd end up going in on that. Uh, smoked a few times, got the same effects, still dry mouth, uh, heavy legs, um, I never had like a state of like euphoria like that I see like other people having like I wasn't like really happy or giggly um I got dizzy every now and then and um the only thing I really got out of it that wasn't so bad was cravings for like bread like remember one time like my friends bought a pizza and I got I came back to my dorm room and I was high and they're like we're gonna head out for a little bit have some pizza if you want I just ate all the crust 
I ate all the crust, didn't eat any pizza. Uh, went down to like the 7-Eleven, bought like six, like five sandwiches, just eight sandwiches. So like I got this weird craving for like bread and sandwiches when I was high. And that's like the only really fun thing I got out of it. Um, but anyway, uh, I started smoking at parties, thought that I would have more fun if I was like high at a party. Um, but I never really had like a great time. So, uh, now to the interesting part. One night, uh, me and two of my, me, one of my roommates and another one of our friends all got some weed, uh, borrowed some pieces from people. Uh, we went out to this spot. Uh, we walked like 15 minutes to get to this spot, like this secluded spot with like a bunch of rocks and everything. And I had like almost almost an eighth to myself not like a full eighth but almost an eighth to myself uh i forgot to pass it around i was just focusing on my own stuff because they had their own stuff so i just sat up there just kept loading bowls just kept smoking bowls um i think i got through like maybe four or five bowls um or anywhere between like three to five bowls by myself um i don't know if that's a lot or not like I've always been a lightweight when it comes to that kind of shit, but um, I'm sure it's not that much. Like people smoke all day, so they've got to be able to handle more than that. But I thought I would up the amount I would smoke to try and get more effects. So after we after we finished smoking, um, we were walking and we ran up. We ran into a Burger King and we're like, okay, let's go get some food. Uh, walked up ordered me some food, sat down, and I had gotten dizzy before, like, previous times smoking, but, uh, this time I was, like, genuinely dizzy. Like, everything was just moving around me, like, slowly, they were, like, shifting to the side, and I'm like, okay, this is not fun. This is not fun for me. Um, so I was just not feeling too great, and then one of my friends looks at me, and he says, Dan, you're looking a little a little green, man, a little pale. Why don't you go splash some water on your face? And I said, okay. I walk into the bathroom and my face is pale green. Like, clearly green. Like, green. So, and my eyes are bloodshot, obviously. I just look, like, sick as fuck. So, I'm just like, oh, this is not anything I've experienced before. This is not okay. I think I need help. Like, I really wasn't feeling good. Like, my walk wasn't okay. Uh, in addition to, like, the normal heavy feet, a little dizzy. It just, I just felt out of it, like, in a bad way. Um, so I walked up to my friends, and I pulled them to the side so that we wouldn't, no, no one would overhear us. But I'm like, hey, man, I think I had a little too much to smoke. I'm not feeling it. You might want to call for help. And he's like... Nah, man, we don't want you to get in trouble. We don't want to get in trouble. Uh, just relax, see how you feel. Sat down there, finished what I could, had some water, still wasn't feeling. I'm like, guys, I think I'm, I think I might need help. And they're like, okay, well, how about this? We'll just call our roommate, uh, bring you back to the room. Um, so I sat, and my other roommate came and picked us up in his car. Uh, it seemed like. I fell asleep almost or something because the ride seemed kind of quick. Like I was just trying to like close my eyes and relax. So we got back to the room and my roommate at that point, he had to help me out of the car and like hold my hand, like physically hold my hand uh, and walk me to the room. Like we lived on the first floor too. We lived on the first floor and I still had trouble getting to my room. Um, so we had to hold my hand and bring me into the room and sit me down. And I was just still, I was almost worse. So I'm like, guys, this really isn't normal. Like, I need you to get some help for me. And they're like, Dan, just relax, man. You're, you're freaking out. That's what's doing it. You're freaking out. Just relax. And I'm like, I'm really not freaking out, but there's something not right here. Um, then I started getting tingles from about the top, around the top of my head. Um, and I got a little bit shaky. And I'm like, guys, I've never experienced anything like this before. I never heard of anyone really experiencing stuff like this. This isn't right. Help me. 
and it was like, Dan, relax, relax. And then it felt almost as if I was having a seizure. Like, I didn't have a seizure. I have no history of seizures. But, like, ev like everything felt tingly. And it was I was all dizzy, just not feeling okay. I'm like, guys, please help me. And they're like, Dan, relax. And then I threw up. I just, out of nowhere, with no warning at all, didn't feel nauseous, really, wasn't paying attention to it, just paid attention to the tingles I was feeling. Out of nowhere, I threw up. And they're like, oh, shit. And they ran and grabbed me a trash can, and um, they walked out, and they said, okay, we're going to go get the RA. Our, my RA was a, uh, like a paramedic, like an EMS guy. Um, so they went and uh, grabbed him. While that was happening, I looked over my other roommate. Um, you guys remember, uh, I don't know if you guys remember or not, but way back, uh, like to last year, uh, I featured my roommate Sean in one of my videos, like briefly. Uh, so I went to Sean and I said, Sean, help me out here, man. I'm not, I'm not okay. And he's like, all right, just relax. They're getting someone. Then I threw up again. And, um... My RA walks in, he looks at me and says, hey man, how you doing? And I said, not great. And he looks at me and he feels my pulse. And he's like, have you guys, he turns to my friends and goes, have you guys called for help? And they said, no, we're just going to let him wait it out. And he said, yeah, you guys got to call for help. So <laughs> finally they called the college uh, like medical service. Uh, like the university paramedics, they came to the room, like, uh, and I was just like out of it. And they asked me like, what's your name? Like, what's the date? Stuff like that. Trying to keep me awake. And um, they took my pulse and everything. They looked at me and like, okay, they got me up. On, they picked me up, helped me up. They got me on the stretcher. They stretchered me out uh, to the front of the building, put me in the ambulance and drove me to the hospital, uh, which is the first time I've ever been in an ambulance. Uh, not a great time to be, to have your first time in an ambulance, but first time in an ambulance. And, uh, I was like in and out of consciousness at that point. Um, I was, uh, like waking up and falling asleep, like almost like blinking. I would like blink and I was out for five minutes. Um, so the ride was quick. They got me up out of that, uh, out of the car, uh, out of the ambulance. They wheeled me over to the room and I was just like trying to stay awake at that point. And they said, okay, uh, how you doing? We're gonna take some blood, try to take some urine. Um, they took blood, couldn't get in the urine out of me. Um, they called my mom. My mom talked to me. She said, I'm gonna come get you. And I'm like, no, don't worry about it. And this is the first time she had, like, this is the first time she knew she found out that I was smoking. Um, so I'm sure this was a big surprise to her. Um, so this all started when I first started smoking uh, with them that night. It was about, I want to say, 8, 8.30, maybe 9. Um, by the time I was awake and aware of what time it was, it was in the hospital. It was like past midnight at that point. So this had been going on for a little while and I didn't even realize it. Um, so it was like midnight about. Uh, so my mom comes, uh, I'm back asleep. I'm falling in and out of consciousness again. She arrives within like half an hour. Um, she uh, signs me out, talks to the doctor and stuff. And uh, turns out that um, they got close to having to put a tube down my throat because they didn't know if I would be breathing right or if anything was constricted because um, I kept passing out and waking up randomly. Um, so then I got taken out of the hospital. They wheeled me out, got in my mom's car, about 35 minute ride from where I was. Again, I was in and out of consciousness, so it literally felt like like 30 seconds, like it felt like 30 seconds. I blinked, woke up, blinked, woke up, blinked, woke up. We were there. So 
by the time we got back to my house, it was around 1.30 in the morning. Um, then I just got, walked up the stairs, grabbed some water, went to bed, and slept like 13 hours. Uh, woke up the next morning, feeling okay, but ashamed at what I had done. Um, and that was probably one of the most mortifying experiences of my life. So from that day forward, um, never went near weed again, never smoked again with anybody. Uh, every now and then it's a fun story to tell. Um, I did get out of classes the next day. Uh, I didn't go to any of my classes, got a doctor's note. I just told my teachers that something mixed, didn't mix well with my medication. So uh, the theories, let's move on to the theories behind why it happened. My first theory is that I was just a lightweight, smoked too much, couldn't handle it. Um, my second theory, and um, quite possibly the most likely theory, is that um, I had taken my medication that day. Um, I have ADHD and I take ADHD medication every day. Um, the medication, uh, I forget which one's which, uh, weed and my medication, depressant stimulant, uh, depressant stimulant didn't mix. Um, or the third one is I got bad weed, um, and just got sick off of it. Um, it was my first time buying from a new dealer, so maybe that was it, but, you know, it just wasn't worth going back to afterwards. Um, so it's been over a year and a half, and I have not smoked weed since that day. Um... I think maybe a few months ago, I took like one, I was hanging out with my friends, they were all smoking, and like, Dan, you want to smoke? I said no. They said, we got this bong, and I'm like, oh, I never smoked out of a bong. Took like half a hit off a bong, and that's about it. Um, otherwise, it's been a year and a half since I've been anywhere near weed, uh, and that's why I don't smoke it anymore. <laughs> So this story went much longer than I thought it was going to. Um, but thank you guys for sticking around and listening to my story. That is why I do not smoke weed anymore. If you have any more questions for me, hit me up in the comments below. I reply to every comment I get. Um, but yeah, basically that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys are celebrating 420, uh, please be safe, be responsible, don't make any stupid uh, decisions. Uh, otherwise, enjoy your day. Um, yeah, that's really much. That's pretty much it, guys. Uh, if you want, you can uh, share this video, spread the word. Um, if you are a non-smoker and you just want to help spread the word about why people shouldn't smoke or be careful when they do, uh, share this video. Um, I would be honored if people would be sharing this video to help spread awareness, um, just to be safe. Uh, whether it's legal or illegal, and where I am, it's illegal. Um, whether it's legal or illegal, people will be, people are going to do this, and people are going to be irresponsible sometimes. And you just got to be careful. If you're with someone who's doing it, and they're not feeling right, just step up. Take care of them. Make sure that they're okay. Because I begged my old roommates to just get me some help, and they didn't do it until the last minute. Not not their fault. I mean, they did take good care of me, but I just wish they had called for help. Like, no one knows you better than you when you're high. Um, so that's it, guys. Just be careful. Enjoy 420. Like, subscribe, comment, check out my other videos, all that good shit. Thank you guys so much for watching this. Uh, I'll do another story time installment sometime in the future when I think of another reason to do it. Uh, that's it, guys. I'll catch you later.